Back here, uh, taking a look at Pepe. Thought I'd cover this. I'm in a Pepe long right now. Uh, I got in it after the breakout of this resistance right here. So uh, we'll see how that goes. For some reason, I I don't know. With longing and shorting, I just haven't totally mastered it yet. I like to do it on the small time frames. I'm not one to to drag out a long or a short for days on days so like I do it on a 15 minute chart most of the time but you can see Pepe <clears throat> right now is right up against that 786 here looking like it wants to break that all right so any break of uh, all them zeros 12704 uh, then you're going to be taking on this upper high up here 12903 okay now if we look at these RSI's on this thing you got the 30 minutes swinging back up here. Uh, you got the one hour uh, bullish. You got the uh, four hour. Four hours bullish. The eight hour is bullish. The 12 hour uh, is trying to turn up. And you got your daily uh, right at the bottom here. Okay. Let's see where the weekly's at. The weekly's trying to turn back up too. So Pepe could have a decent run in store here for it. Let's take a look at the bigger overall picture here. This thing, you know, and I just I can't stay in it that long. That's um I don't hold Pepe really, but uh, I'm just in it today for the uh, for the long position right now. So let's take a look here at the bigger picture of this thing. All right, we're going to go, you know, because this thing, it, it could have a pretty decent bounce back here. We're going to take the fib, and we're just going to go from right here over, okay? Even yesterday, it didn't get crushed really bad. Um, you know, if we go on the daily, when everything else in the market got totally destroyed, I mean, Pepe, it pulled down, but it didn't pull down that hard. Um, you can see right here. We go on a daily. All right, let's clean some of this up first off, because I can see an overhead resistance here of a bigger breakout if it breaks this right down through here. All right, so if it if it breaks, uh, what is that? Fourteen five o three. If it breaks at 14.503, this is going for a, a lot longer run. All right, you can see that uh, pretty clear. Looks like it's wedging up here, right through here. Now it's just trying to regain, uh, kind of lost the bottom edge of that wedge. This wedge goes the whole way, of what it looks like out there. Yeah, right up like this. Okay, so <clears throat> either it's going to regain this wedge or it's going to get rejected and come down. Um, yeah, and that, that would be a pretty decent move. if this, With everything turning bullish, I'm expecting it to get back in here and break out the top side. Now, that's no guarantees. That, that's just me. Um, that's, what, that's another reason I kind of took this long. I've seen that short breakout and uh, this overall, the whole thing looks pretty decent. I mean, you got... All your RSI's are turning up. You got your, uh, you know, that 12's flipping up. The 8 hours bullish. The 4 hours bullish. And, uh, and your 1 hour's still bullish. And you got that weekly trying to turn up. And there is no monthly yet. Okay, so, uh, overall Pepe, you know, this, this could be a... A pretty decent long for you you know it, it quite honestly guys if you're not in this right now I, I would wait until it got into this wedge um, you know and and then any break of this uh, 13 8 up here would be uh, that by that time I would imagine that should be a break out of this upper wedge and that, that would be a pretty decent move I mean if you measure this thing out all right from top to bottom you know, and this isn't financial advice, guys. Longing and shorting is very risky, all right? But you can uh, maximize your profits pretty fast, okay? If this breaks out that top, if if it does, all right, you're looking, you know, 40%. You use 10x uh, leverage, you're looking at 4x in your money. You know, if it goes up the other side. Now, if if this does not regain that wedge and it goes down the other way, 
and you take a short on it, okay, it's the same way the other, the other way around, all right? So the important thing is it, it regains this wedge, okay? That's, that's the important thing right now. And uh, to do that, it's going to have to break back up above uh, that number right here, which is uh, 12,908. Okay, then it's back inside the wedge, but uh, I'm taking a shot on it. I, I, I don't have a big pile of money on it. Um, you know, I threw a little chunk of money at it, but I threw pretty high leverage on it. I, I, I don't know. I like using Mexi. I like using leverage. I, I don't know. I got my wallet that I hold. I don't gamble, you know, it, it, I don't gamble with big chunks of money with leverage. But uh, to do a 20 or 30x, yeah, I, I, I love doing it. It's exciting to me. I, I can't help it, but I'm kind of addicted to it. Um, I don't know. I got an addictive personality with, uh, with stuff like this. So I guess that's why I love crypto so much. You know, it really, uh, it's, it's exciting. But you can see it coming back up trying to break back in this wedge. So if, if you're looking at it, like I said, a break of, uh, you know, you can see the numbers here, guys. Any break of uh, 12,951, you're back inside this wedge, all right? And then that, that breakout of the upside, you know, that 13, you know, if it comes straight up through here, it's gonna have to break, uh, you know, 13, probably 14, all them zeros, 14. And then the breakout of the upside, could be a nice move so uh if you're into long and, and shorting uh keep an eye on pepe here i think this is a fake out to the downside that pushed down yesterday and i think it's going to run back up in here all right thanks a lot guys i got a lot to cover here i got uh some uh, plans this evening so uh want to get some videos out have a great day everybody think about joining and becoming a member i would appreciate that so very much guys have a great day